rolling. Oh, are we rolling? Rolling. Alrighty. Hey, everybody. This is Daniel Dixon, uh, and I decided to do my project on our wonderful high school, or rather, the man it was named after, uh, John Overton, the man who our school is named after was a prominent judge and political figure here in Nashville way back in its heyday, back when it was founded in the 1800s. Uh, John Overton, he was, a, he was a well to do man here in Nashville. He owned a lot of land, he was very rich, uh, he had a lot of political influence, uh, as well as just influence from his large amount of wealth that he had here in Nashville. He, he was very rich, he owned a lot of land. Uh, one thing that I thought was very interesting about Mr. Overton was that the land that our school actually sits on was part of his peach orchard. I didn't know that. That was pretty cool. Uh, another thing that I thought was pretty cool was that Mr. Overton actually owned the land that Memphis now sits on. He, uh, he helped found Memphis with Andrew Jackson as well as a man named... Oh, what was his name? James Winchester, I believe, was his name. I thought that was pretty cool. I didn't know that either. Um, so yeah, like I said, uh, John Overton, he was just a very prominent political figure. He was an advisor to Andrew Jackson, a very famous president that came out of Nashville. Um, he held the seat of head judge at the Davidson County Court for around six years. Uh, he died shortly after his term as head judge ended at the Davidson County Court. Uh, his house, Traveler's Rest, is just right down the road here. Um, yeah, he, he was just a very prominent political figure here in Nashville. He, uh, I thought that it was very cool that uh, even though he wasn't even alive in our century, he was well enough to do that he had a school named after him. By the way, I thought it was you know, it's just one of the best schools in Nashville. It really is. I thought it was uh, just pretty cool. That he had a school named after him. Yeah.